friends. I thought today we would do something a little bit different. So you can see that Miss Cheryl's not on her yoga mat, but that I thought we would meet today and just talk about mindful listening. So in this video today, we're going to practice our square breath. We'll talk a little bit about listening and why mindful listening is so important. And then we're going to end after we read a little story with doing some movement to one of Miss Cheryl's favorite, very favorite songs. Can you hear that song? Beautiful about the long time sun. Before we start, friends, can you find a comfortable position? Maybe you're going to sit in a chair like I am. Maybe you want to sit on your yoga mat, that's okay, or just on the floor. And then let's just focus for a minute on our breath. Take a big breath in through your nose. And then let that breath all the way out through your mouth. How do your shoulders feel today? Are they comfortable? Are they loose? Let's see if when we breathe in, we can raise our shoulders up to our ears. Will you try it with me? Inhale. Bring them back. And then as you exhale, just drop them down. That helps me to sit up a little bit taller. You got it. Maybe you might want to make a little stretch. Maybe we can bring our arms out to the side a little bit. Turn a little bit to the side. Oh, I'm going to twist to the other side as well. And then I'm going to settle in and just make myself a little bit comfortable. So, as I said, let's start today on this video about listening by just listening to see if you can hear any sounds around you. So we're going to stay quiet for a moment. Maybe you might want to try to close your eyes and just see what you can hear. Let's try. My house is quiet today. How about yours? Are there things going on in your house? Are there noises that you could hear? You could even do this video outside or after the video, go outside and just see if you can hear some outside sounds. What sounds would you hear if you were outside? If I was in my backyard, it's a little bit chilly today. That's why I'm not there, but I might hear some birds. I love it when I hear some birds. Miss Cheryl fed the birds in her bird feeder or put some bird seed in there this weekend so that the birds will come and enjoy and then I like to listen to their sounds. Sometimes if I'm meditating in my backyard I can hear the birds singing. If we were outside we might hear a lawnmower, we might hear a car driving by or maybe you hear some voices. Well we're going to learn about that in our story today but before we do that Let's practice our square breath. So boys and girls, let's think about a square. How many sides does a square have? Did you guess four? That's right, so a square has four sides. And all four sides in a square are the same length. That's what makes a square shape. Let's see if I can make a square shape. There we go, kind of making a square shape there with my fingers. And so we're going to do square breath which has four parts to the breath. So we're going to do an inhale, that's part one, and then we're gonna hold it, that's part two. We're gonna exhale, that's part three, and then we're gonna hold it again, and that's part four. So that makes a square. So we're gonna inhale as my finger comes up, and then we're gonna hold our breath, and then we're gonna exhale as my finger comes down, and then we're going to hold our breath again. All right, let's try it with two counts to start. So will you try it with me? Are you ready? We're going to inhale, hold it, exhale, and hold it. So can you see my finger did two marks? Let's try it again and I'll count for you. So inhale, one, two, hold it, one, two, exhale, one, two two and hold one two that's a square breath the fun thing about a square breath is is that as you practice you might be able to hold that breath for three or maybe even four counts should we try it with three counts now so try it with me we're going to inhale two three exhale two oh 
sorry, made a mistake. So we're going to inhale with one, two, three, hold it, two, three, exhale, two, three, hold, two, three. I'm going to try it now with just, without saying the words, just with my fingers, and let's see if we can do it together. Are you ready? So, So were you able to do your square breath with three counts? I'm going to challenge you, friends, to keep practicing your square breath. Maybe you can try it with four counts and see if that works for you. We'll see how that feels. So remember that when we need to focus our brain a little bit, when we are just feeling a little bit uneasy, or just when we want to just feel really, really great and connected and grounded, we practice some of our breathing techniques. So that's when you can use your square breath. Beautiful. All right, friends, I wanted to chat with you today about listening. So what part of our body do we use to listen? That's right, we use our ears. So what would be the difference of just listening or mindful listening? We know, friends, that mindfulness means just focusing on one thing at a time. So if we were listening mindfully or practicing mindful listening, that would mean that we're really just trying to focus on our listening and maybe trying to just listen to one thing at a time. That takes practice, just like all things that are worthwhile and important. So what do you do when there's a lot of noise around you? Um, what do you do to help you pay attention to the one thing that you need to listen to. And that's why it's really important that we practice and we think about mindful listening. So imagine that you are at school and you're outside in the playground, or maybe you're at the park and you're with a friend, or maybe with your brother or your sister or your mom and dad. And you need to listen to that what that one person is talking to you about. Maybe your friend is telling you a secret. And there's lots of noise around you. There's children running and playing and jumping. And maybe you hear a basketball uh, dribbling or maybe you just hear the swing swinging. Could be lots of sounds around you, but you really need to listen to what your friend is telling you. We need to practice so that you can pay attention to one sound, even when there's lots of sounds around you. I'm thinking about when you were learning in your classroom was there a time when your teacher was trying to teach a lesson, trying to talk to you, and maybe there was other things going on in your classroom? There was other adults or there were other children doing their lessons and maybe they were talking or maybe they were learning or reading together and you needed to listen to one person. That's hard, isn't it? So it's a good idea to practice that. I'm thinking now, maybe you're trying to do your school online Maybe you're on a call, a Zoom call, maybe where your teacher's talking and there are other friends from your classroom on the call. Or maybe you're just trying to work at your work, at your table, but there's other people around, maybe brothers or sisters, or a mom and dad maybe on the phone or on their computer having to do their work at the same time. And you really need to focus, even though there's lots going on around you. That can be challenging. That's why I thought it would be kind of fun to practice our mindful listening today so that we can get better at that. So I want you to listen. We're going to play a little game. I have a bag here with me and in my bag I have some items that make a noise and I thought it might be kind of fun to listen to the sounds and see if you can guess what the sounds are. This helps our listening skills to improve because we're trying to figure out what something is by listening really, really intently. So I'm gonna invite you to close your eyes. All right, are you ready? So we'll do it together. I'm gonna to reach in my bag, keep your eyes closed, and then I'm gonna make a noise with an object. I want you to keep your eyes closed as long as you can hear the noise, and then you can open it up and see if you guess right. All right, so close your eyes. Are you ready? Let's get ready to listen. Got it? Here we go. All right, here comes the noise. All right, you can open your eyes. Did you guess that I was crumpling up a piece of paper? 
sometimes when we see something so that we're using more than one of our senses, it makes it a little bit easier to figure out what it is. But when we're just using one sense at a time, when we're listening mindfully, it can be a little bit more of a challenge. All right, are you ready for the next one? All right, so I'm gonna reach in my bag. Okay, I've got my next item. Close your eyes and let's see if you can figure out, keep your eyes closed and then keep them closed as long as you can hear my sound. All right, eyes are closed. Do you wanna open up your eyes now? Michelle has a little bell. Could you figure out that that was a bell that I was ringing? Good job. All right, let's go, let's pick the next item. All right, so are we ready? I've got it. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. Here we go, here's the next item. You wanna open your eyes? That's right, I have a pen. I was clicking a pen. I'm wondering if maybe sometimes when you're trying to work and you need to focus, when there's some distracting noises in the back, have you ever had that happen when someone's clicking a pen when they're trying to think? That could be something that would be distracting. All right, we have one more. All right, friends, close your eyes, keep them closed. All right, keep them closed. Let's keep them closed for the whole time you can hear this sound and just try to listen to the one sound that you hear. Keep your eyes closed. I bet some of you might recognize this one. Sound of the singing bowl, friends, is often what I use to help to train my brain and to teach my other friends how to use your brain to practice listening to a sound for a long time. So listening to that singing bowl, as long as you can hear it, helps to train our ears so that we become really good at mindful listening. So I have a story that I thought we could read today together. I love this story. This story is called The Listening Walk. And the author of this story is Paul Showers. And the listening walk is illustrated by Aliki. Now, boys and girls, the, the publisher of The Listening Walk is Harper Collins Productions. And I have permission to read this story to you today by Harper Collins Children's Book Publishers. So I'm really excited to read this book since we're talking about listening. Um, we'll read this story about different sounds that you might hear, and then I have a challenge for you when we're finished. The listening walk. I like to take walks. I take walks with my father and our dog. Our dog is called Major. He's an old dog and he does not walk very fast. We go down the street and we do not talk. My father puts his hands in his pockets and thinks. Major walks ahead and sniffs. I keep still and listen. I call this a listening walk. On a listening walk, I do not talk. I listen to all the different sounds. I hear many different sounds when I don't talk. First, I hear Major's toenails on the sidewalk. Major has long toenails, and when he walks, his toenails scratch the sidewalk. They go twit, 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 twit. I hear my father's shoes on the sidewalk. My father walks very slowly and his shoes go dop, 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 dop. I can't hear my shoes. I wear sneakers. I hear all sorts of sounds on a listening walk. I listen to sounds I never listened to before. I listen to lawnmowers. Lawnmowers are noisy. A lawnmower can make a steady zooming noise. Kind of goes like this. Zoom. I like to listen to lawn sprinklers. Lawn sprinklers are very quiet. They make different sounds. Some sprinklers make a steady whispering sound like this. And other sprinklers turn around and around and they go like this. On a listening walk, I hear cars in the street. The shiny new cars are quiet. They make only a soft 
but old cars, they're very noisy. Old cars sound like this. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. And when cars go around the corner too fast, the tires go. Mmm. And when cars stop really quickly, the brakes go. Yeah. On a listening walk, I hear all kinds of sounds. A bicycle bell ringing. A baby crying. A jet flies over. Jets are very noisy when they're overhead. The jet goes, and a boy runs by dribbling, runs by dribbling his basketball. A lady hurries by us. She's wearing high heels. The lady's high heels go pick pop, pick pop, pick pop, pick pop. A bus is coming. The lady starts to run. Pick pop, pick pop, pick pop, pick pop. The bus stops at the corner. The lady gets on and the bus starts up again. Around the corner, men are digging up the street. They're using a jackhammer. It makes a loud banging sound. The jackhammer, hurt, jackhammer hurts my ears. I put my hands over my ears as we walk by. Sometimes my father and I take Major to the park. It's quiet there. The sounds in the park are not loud like the noises in the street. My father and I walk down a shady path. I do not talk. I listen. I listen to my father's shoes on the path. They make a soft sound. They go chuff, 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 chuff. I listen to the birds in the park. I listen to the pigeons and the ducks. The pigeons fly down to meet us. They want us to feed them. The pigeons puff up their feathers. They take their tiny little steps. They come toward us, nodding their heads, and they say, Proo, 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 proo. At the pond, the ducks are waiting. They want us to feed them too. The small ducks swim up close. They turn their heads on one side and they look up at us. The small ducks waggle their tails and they quack. They say, quack, 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 quack. The big ducks are not so brave. They stay back and swim around in circles. The big ducks look at us, but they don't come close. The big ducks say, quack, quack, quack. Sometimes I hear a woodpecker in the park. The woodpecker sounds like a hammer and it goes in the park. I hear crickets in the grass. The crickets go I hear the wind in the leaves. It whispers. I hear the bees and the flowers. It's fun to go on a listening walk. You don't have to go far. You can walk around the block and listen. You can walk around your yard and listen. You don't even have to take a walk to hear sounds. There are sounds everywhere, all the time. All you have to do is keep still and listen to them. Right now there are sounds you can hear. When we finish this book and when I close the pages, I invite you to listen. How many different sounds can you hear right now? I'm going to close the book and I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to invite you to do the same and see if you can hear any sounds where you are right now. Take a deep breath in. Let it all the way out. Now close your eyes, friends, and see if you can hear sounds where you are. I wonder what kind of sounds you heard where you are. I'm going to turn on my music again. And will you join me in some movement for our song? So we're going to take a breath in in this song and raise our arms all the way up. And then we're going to breathe out and bring our hands all the way down. Let's try it again. And 
screens out. Beautiful. Now this time when we breathe in, raise your arms up. Can you look up, pretending you're looking at the sun? And then breathe out and bring your hands all the way down. Beautiful. And then I think about the light that shines inside of us. So we're going to move our hands and across. Maybe we can cross the other way. You got it. And that light guides us. So maybe we could make some circles with our arms. Can we go the other way? Beautiful. Let's take another breath in. And then bring your arms down, making some circles with your wrist. You got it. Beautiful. Crossing your arms over one more time. Bring that light inside. And then cross them over the other way. Boys and girls, can you take one hand on your heart? Put the other hand over and feel the light coming inside of your heart. Beautiful. Let's take our hands together, place our thumbs right into our heart. And will you repeat after me? May I be happy and healthy. May I be kind and caring. May I know that I am loved, really, 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 really loved, and that all is well. Boys and girls, I'm going to challenge you today to try to find some time to take a listening walk. Maybe you can go with your families and take a walk outside. Maybe you can spend some time in your backyard or maybe on a balcony. Or maybe you just take a walk around your house and practice your listening. I would love to hear what sounds you make when you take your listening walk. Maybe you could message me and share with me, have mom and dad help you, what sounds you hear, maybe even counting the sounds that you hear on your listening walk. Boys and girls, thank you for spending this time with me. The light that is in me shines on the light that is in each and every one of you. Namaste.